Good morning, dear children. As we have done with the lesson, the tsunami, today we shall do the chapter exercise of the tsunami from Honeydew for class 8. We shall do all the three comprehension check, working with text and working with language. For the first comprehension check, turn to page number 27. Say whether the following are true or false. You can mark true or false against the question in your book itself with pencil. Questions. Number one. Ignatius lost his wife, two children, his father-in-law and his brother-in-law in the tsunami. That's true. He lost all these members from his family in that tsunami. So the statement is true. Number two. Sanjeev made it to safety after the tsunami. Sanjeev, initially he was able to save himself and his uh, wife and uh, baby girl to a safer place. That time he heard cries of the wife of John and to save her he jumped into water and both of them were swept away. So the statement is false. Sanjeev could not make to safety after the tsunami. So the statement is false. Number three, Meghna was saved by a relief helicopter. Meghna, as you remember, was 13 year old girl. Her whole family was swept away in the tsunami and she got a piece of door and she climbed on that. She saw rescue helicopter 11 times, but the helicopter people did not locate her. They did not bring her to a safer place. They did not rescue her. It was the wave which brought her to shore. So the statement, Meghna was saved by a relief helicopter is false. Alma's father realized that a tsunami was going to hit the island. True. Number five, her mother and aunts were washed away with the tree that they were holding on to. That's true. Now take second comprehension check on page number 28. Answer the following in a phrase or sentence. Question 1. Why did Tilly's family come to Thailand? Now here listen to me children carefully. You can pause the video whenever, requ whenever you require to match your writing speed. Okay. Answer. Tilly Smith came with a family from Southeast England to celebrate Christmas at a beach resort in Southern Thailand. Question 2. What were the warning signs that both Tilly and her mother saw? Answer. Her mother saw that the water was swelling and coming closer and the beach was getting smaller and smaller. Meanwhile, Tilly also noticed that the sea slowly started to rise, form and bubble and form whirlpools in it. Listen children, you have to write all these question answers in your reader notebook. Question 3. Do you think Tilly's mother was alarmed by them? Answer. Tilly's mother initially didn't understand what was happening. But when she saw her frightened daughter hysterically screaming, talking about earthquake under the sea, Penny understood the seriousness of the condition. Question 4. Where had Tilly seen the sea behave in the same strange fashion? Answer. Tilly had seen the sea behaving in the same strange fashion in one of her geography lesson. When her geography teacher had shown her class the video of tsunami that hit the Hawaiian Islands in 1946 and told them that tsunami can be caused by earthquakes, volcanoes and landslides. Question 5. Where did the Smith family and the others on the beach go to escape from the tsunami? 
Answer. The Smith family and the others on the beach took refuge in the third floor of the hotel to escape from the tsunami. The building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves. Question 6. How do you think her geography teacher felt when he heard about what Tilly had done in Phuket? Answer. Tilly's geography teacher must have felt very proud and happy that because of his lesson and video, the young girl was able to save her family and lives of many others by warning them of the tsunami waves. Now let's do comprehension check on page number 30. Answer using a phrase or a sentence. Question 1. In the tsunami, 1,50,000 people died. How many animals died? Answer. Although the giant waves that rolled through the Indian Ocean killed more than 1,50,000 people in a dozen countries, but not many animals have been reported dead. The exact count of dead animals is not known compared to human casualties. Question 2. How many people and animals died in Yala National Park? Yala National Park which is in Sri Lanka. Answer. 60 visitors were swept off the Patangala beach inside the Yala National Park. But no animal carcasses were found except for two water buffaloes. Question 3. What do people say about the elephants of Yala National Park? Answer. The people present at the Yala National Park observed three elephants running away from the Patangala beach about an hour before the tsunami hit that place. Question 4. What did the dogs in Gale do? Answer. The dogs in Gale refused to go for their daily run on the beach on the day the tsunami hit the coast. Now, for working with text on page number 30, discuss the following questions in the class. You may just read the question answers and understand them. If you want, you can practice in your rough registers. Read and understand the answers well. Question 1. When he felt the earthquake, do you think Ignatius immediately worried about a tsunami? Give reasons for your answer. Which sentence in the text tells you that the Ignatius family did not have any time to discuss and plan their course of action after the tsunami struck? Answer. No. Ignatius did not realize a tsunami had struck when he felt the earthquake initially. He got up and carefully took his television set off its table and put it down on the ground so that it would not fall and break. Then the family rushed out of the house. Ignatius' family did not have any time to discuss and plan their course of action after the tsunami struck due to chaos and confusion. When the tremors stopped. They saw the sea rising in the chaos and confusion. Two of his children caught hold of the hands of their mother's father and mother's brother and rushed in the opposite direction. Question 2. Which words in the list below describe Sanjeev in your opinion? Do the answer in the book itself with pencil. Answer. In my opinion, the words that describe Sanjeev are brave, heroic and selfless. Use words from the list to complete the three sentences below. I don't know if Sanjeev was cheerful, ambitious or humorous. Second one, I think that he was very brave, heroic and selfless. Number three, Sanjeev was not heartless, brash or careless. For question 3, 
Just read the answer and understand it well. Question 3. How are Meghna and Alma stories similar? Answer. Both Alma's and Meghna's families were swept away by the tsunami waves and they were the only survivors in their respective families. Both of them floated in the sea for many days. Meghna spent two days floating in the sea, holding on to a wooden door and brought to the shore by a wave. Similarly, Alma's also climbed a log of wood and fainted. Later, she woke up in a hospital in Camorta and brought to Port Blair thereafter. Both the girls were so traumatized about the incident. Read and understand the answer of question 4. You need not write it down in the copy. What are the different ways in which Tilly's parents could have reacted to her behavior? What would you have done if you were in their place? Answer. Tilly's parents could have reacted in a different manner by not paying heed to her frightened behavior. If they would have tried to calm her down, probably they would have got washed away along with the tsunami waves. If I would have been in a similar situation, I would have carefully listened to Tilly and realized that a danger was approaching and immediately rushed to the hotel by running away from the beach. Read and understand the answer of question 5. If Tilly's award was to be shared, who do you think she would share it with? Her parents or her geography teacher? Answer. In my opinion, Tilly should have shared her award with a geography teacher who made her aware of what a tsunami is and its various effects. Due to this awareness, she was able to save lives of so many people. Read and understand. Question number 6. Need not write down in the notebook. What are the two different ideas about why so few animals were killed in the tsunami? Which idea do you find more believable? Answer. Not many animals were killed by the tsunami because most of them have a sixth sense working in them. As a matter of fact, animals know when the earth is going to shake. Some experts also believe that Animals have an acute sense of hearing that helps them to hear or feel the earth's vibration. They have the ability to sense an approaching disaster long before humans realize what's going on and they are able to move to a safer place. Working with language on page number 31 and 32. You must do question 2 and 3 in the book itself with pencil. Question 2. Fill in the blanks in the sentences below. The verbs given in the brackets will give you a clue. The earth trembled, but not many people felt the dash. The word in bracket is tremble, so it will be trembling, but not many people felt the trembling. Number 2. When the zoo was flooded, there was a lot of dash and many people, many animals escaped into the countryside. And the verb in the bracket is confuse and it will be confusion. When the zoo was flooded, there was a lot of confusion and many animals escaped into the countryside. Number three, we heard with dash that the line had been recaptured. And the verb in the bracket is relief and it will be we heard with relief that the line had been recaptured. Number four, the zookeeper was stuck in a tree and his dash was filmed by the TV crew. Verb in the bracket is rescue. The zookeeper was stuck in the tree and his rescue was filmed by the TV crew. Number five. There was much dash in the village when the snake charmer came visiting. 
and the word in the bracket is excite so it will be excitement there was much excitement in the village when the snake charmer came visiting question 3 mark in the book itself say whether the following sentences are in the active or the passive voice write a or p after each sentence as shown in the first sentence first sentence is already done for you someone stole my bicycle this is an active voice okay direct speech second the tires were deflated by the traffic police it is a passive voice if you have to convert it into active it will be the traffic police deflated the tires third i found it last night in a beach near my house it's an active voice number 4 it had been thrown there passive was voice it's active will be it was thrown there number 5 my father gave it to the mechanic it's an active voice number 6 the mechanic repaired it for me again active voice dear children keep your notebook work updated thank you have a nice day